Good evening, everyone. Welcome to tonight's quick chat around human performance at a deeper level. My name is Jeff Olson. And in just a few short minutes, I'm going to unpackage really kind of what athletes do that we all can model, a game changer uh, and a better way, kind of a design shift in, in your thinking, perhaps, and, and really kind of coming back to the basics, rediscovering the obvious on a first principle uh, that can drive change. Really, you know, for those of you who don't know who I am, um, I chased snow for a living as a professional athlete. Then I worked in Wall Street and technology. Last 15 plus years, I've been in healthy living. And here's what I learned from sport. Athletes are ruthlessly practical and they will do what works. In technology, uh, I learned that disruptive uh, innovation uh, can cause a breakthrough. There's two kinds of innovation. Innovation that makes new things that make old things better. And then disruptive innovation uh, that makes new things, that makes old things obsolete. And that's when you really get a breakthrough. And then in the money business, I learned really the eighth wonder of the world, as Albert Einstein said, which is uh, the compounding effect of money. And as he said, if you own it, you earn it. And if you don't, you pay for it. So the, the idea of the compounding effect. And over the last 15 years in human performance, um, well, it really, I, I guess if you're, you're an athlete in the game of life, and any game you choose to play, you're going to be held accountable uh, by its rules. And, you know, as we all are in the game of life, I don't care who you are from uh, the greatest generation, next generation, Michael Phelps, uh, a, a young kid, uh, my grandma, my teenager, anyone, this is a universal conversation because when we go underneath the hood uh, and what brings the body to life from a uh, lifestyle perspective is eat well, move well, sleep well, think well, love well. But in the, in the, in the category of eat well, um, we really get down to some some pretty simple things. We just don't do what we know. And if you haven't seen the movie Game Changers yet, I would recommend you see it. Um, you can get it on Netflix, but just Google the Game Changers movie. The summation of all of that is pounding more plants and pounding more plants from a human performance perspective. Human performance is pregnancy. Human performance is better circulation for diabetic. Human performance is more energy all day. Human performance can mean more recovery greater recovery for an athlete. There is no such thing as overtraining, only under recovery. And that's what plants can do for athletes. And why they can do that is because they have more stuff in them than carbs, proteins, and fats, which is the iceberg, which is what you see, but what lies beneath that deeper level, non-calories, non-caloric, excuse me, is, is micro nutrition. And that's minerals and vitamins and enzymes and antioxidants, pre-probiotics and phytochemicals. And what it is the majesty of whole food. And, and really, this is a concept you want to write down. It's nutrient density. And it delivers a deeper, deeper level of biochemistry to your body. These are the partial, this is a partial listing of the phytonutrients that are found in a fresh, whole, clean apple. And as you can see, it's a much deeper level of discussion when it comes to food. It's really uh, the, the biotechnology majesty of whole food. So we're under, we understand that we need energy and fueling the car and the gasoline conversation, glycogen and carbohydrates, proteins and fats. We need to build stuff. We've got to building blocks of food and that's the proteins and amino acids. But it's this third pillar that people really miss. And I call it the blind spot. And it's, it's conditioning function. And that has to do with replenishing that micronutrition, replenishing the phytonutrient cascade in our body every single day because it's not stored. And there are tens of thousands of these molecules that provide just-in-time inventory for your body to put together and perform it. I really consider it cross-fit conditioning. But it has an effect over time. It doesn't mean much in a day and a week, but over time, there renders this compounding effect and it does stuff to the body. It delivers results. It delivers performance. It gets your body to do what you want it to do it when you want it to do it. It activates stuff. It modulates stuff. It protects stuff. Problem is we don't finish strong. We don't do this every day. We don't eat enough great nutrient dense foods every day. Health, eating well used to be incidental, used to kind of come with the territory, you know, and Today, it is an adaptive trait. Today, it is an acquired learning. It is a functional skill set that should be taught on par with reading, 
writing, and arithmetic. Healthy lifestyle has a curriculum, and the cornerstone of that is eating well. And the cornerstone of eating well is eating nutrient-dense foods and fruits and vegetables, seven servings a day for a woman, nine servings a day for a man, 12 for an athlete. If you're fit, nine plus athlete, 10 plus. If you're above average, 10 plus round up. You can't overdose on nutrient-dense foods. We just don't finish strong. And so if, if you remember, Talk about game-changing design. Remember all these devices we had to have prior to 2007. You gotta work really, really hard to keep your thinking clean and to make it simple. But it's worth it in the end because you can move mountains. And that's what Steve Jobs did. That's a Steve Jobs quote. And today we find ourselves in this world of sort of the molecular, molecule, isolate, compartmentalize, fragment molecules and cocktail them into compounds and the multivitamin being the poster child of that, is that the best we can do? Well, as it turns out, in fact, no. What if we could use technology and put it at the, the service of food? Enter the idea of functional food, plant food, plant powders, plant concentrates, plant oils. What if we could take all of these fruits and all of these vegetables and all of these berries, harvest them, freeze them, juice them, dry them, crush them into powders. Plant powders being a game-changing design shift, a pivot away from the old school approach to a new school approach. Plant powder concentrates in the form of plant powder berries, plant powder vegetables, plant powder fruits. Um, it is a timeless idea. It is timely and trending, but most of all, it is timeless. It worked 20 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago today. It's gonna to work 20 years from now as well. It is matter that matters. Plant powder shakes, plant powder macronutrient shakes, a kind of a meal replacement on the go, pre post workout, cramming more matter that matters into your body, more nutrient density in your body. And then from the seed oil perspective, what if we could crush all of these plants into omega? The, that, that those healthy essential fatty acids, omega-3, 5, 6, 7, and 9, where the fish get it is from algae. We, go, we bypass that middle fish, go right to the plants, right to the source, and get the family, the rainbow of healthy oils from plants. So functional food is the category, that, that game-changing design shift, supplemental food, if you want to think of it that way, plant powders, plant concentrates, plant oils, and the market leader, the game-changing leader, um, for the last 27 years has been the brand name of Juice Plus. Um, they are the global leader in the category and they have pioneered food conditioning with plant powders. Um, one of their claims to fame is they're the most clinically researched, peer reviewed and published health food product in the world. Over 40 published clinical studies, randomized, double blind, placebo controlled, uh, stands without peer across all kinds of human physiology. I've had the good fortune to work with athletes from all over the world, Olympic world champions across aerobic, anaerobic, power, finesse, skill, and all of them have embraced food conditioning with plant powders over the decades. Also, I've had the good fortune to work with this past year with all of the Olympic USA volleyball team, teaching them about nutrient density and food conditioning and cramming more matter that matters into their body to help them recover faster, build their adaptive response, and build greater physiological durability. So when it comes to the game of gains, here's what athletes know. They are ruthlessly practical and they will do what works best. And plant powders are a new novel, fresh maybe thinking, it's been around a while, but new to you maybe, um, way to get more of nutrient density into your body, that game-changing design shift, right? Supplemental or functional food is the game-changing design. And when it comes to uh, the first principle of change, um, it is it, understanding change. Change is conditioned incrementally over time. One simple little thing compounded and conditioned over time leads to change, leads to growth, leads to breakthroughs, leads to leveling up. And food conditioning, ruthlessly practical. Plant powders, ruthlessly practical. Uh, plant powders being that disruptive innovation, but it only works as much as you compound it every day over time. It works in medicine, building all of this stuff up for you, conditioning all of this stuff up for you. It works in wellness, conditioning over time, all of this 
physiological performance and it works in athletics. And the bottom line, if you want to think of one characteristic that cramming more nutrient dense foods will do to your body is, is it will build physiological durability. I just want to be a truck. I want to bang my body hard, get up every day and work. And I don't care who you are, everyone wants more physiological durability. In the end, nothing's going to change until you change something you do daily in your life. And with that, human performance is pregnancy. It's just results. It's just getting your body to do what you want it to do. But at a deeper level, food conditioning with plant powders is going to build physical capacity, physical durability over time for you. We'll leave it there. God bless. Get with the person that invited you. We'll see you on the field of play. Take care, everyone.